This is Casey Glass from Worship Sense, and we're going to do a quick tutorial on using the extern section of the Nord Stage to, con to control external hardware. So this would be a little bit different than just kind of running everything through the keyboard into something else. We're really going to try to use the extern section like it's meant to be used. In other words, you'd be able to use your hardware sounds from the Nord and then have some control over a module or a soft synth running on your computer or something with the extern section. Um, so we'll take a look at how to do that with uh, Apple's main stage. Real quick, though, we got to do a couple things to make sure the Nord is set up correctly. So in whatever patch you're going to use, um, you want to go ahead and set up the extern values. Now, one thing real quick, in the system setting, there is the ability to um, set the extern per patch. And I just have to remember where it is. Maybe it's in sound. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Uh, or it's not. All right, no, I guess it's per patch anyway. All right, so skip all that. We're just gonna go to the extern section. So again, that's hold down shift, hit extern. And now we're looking at the extern values for slot A. So currently we're on slot A, and so the extern values are different per slot, and we're in slot A. We wanna go ahead and set that. I'm using my computer as the module, so we're gonna set this to a USB. And I recommend you do one other than channel one. As a matter of fact, I kinda recommend starting maybe around six. It really is up to you. Just develop some sort of convention that you're used to so that you can kind of get things going quickly. But we'll make it six just because that's what I thought of right now. Now you may also want to know if um, your synth has some settings that you're going to want to preload. Like we could go ahead and tell the module or soft synth to start out with a volume of 127. If we need to tell a host to load a certain patch, we can do that using the program change. Uh, controller. We're going to leave that off since most soft synths don't really work that well with program change. There may be a continuous controller that you can use to modify your sound. For example, we could set this to filter cutoff in the host, whatever it is. Uh, fortunately, most uh, computers allow you to map those things pretty freely. But if you're using hardware, you may actually need to set it to a specific number, whatever number is already mapped in the hardware to that uh, control. And so uh, just to get it out of the way of normal things, we're going to set it to like uh, 73 and we can tell it to preload a certain value for that continuous controller we'll leave that off and then uh, we want the computer to respond to all of these controls we'll leave them on yes we're going to use the normal velocity curve um, we can tell it whether or not to send the values like the volume on load and I would say if you're going through the trouble to set them up go ahead and set that to yes um, soft through means any MIDI coming in on this same channel will continue back through to the soft synth. Uh, I'm going to set that to off. And that way we don't get accidental stuff coming in on that channel triggering whatever we're trying to trigger. All right, so we're going to move on over to the actual extern module. All right, so now we've got the extern module here kind of front and center. So first thing we need to do is turn it on, just like the rest of the sections of the Nord. And once it's turned on, we can also use the shift key to set it to different um, parts. Like we set it low, high, uh, the whole keyboard. We can also set whether or not sustain is going to sound, pitch stick. We can octave shift it like we do for other things. And then lastly, the, and the most useful thing is we can determine what the knob does. And we can change this as we go along. Even through a song, we could switch this around. Right now, the knob is going to control the MIDI continuous controller we set before, which was number 73. Um, if we switch to program change, we can loop through programs, which would be nice if you had an instance of Omnisphere or something set that you could kind of pop through the different programs there. And then lastly, volume. So we had preset it to 127. That's why it's all the way up. But we could still control that as well. All right, so let's move over here to main stage. So I have kind of a default generic main stage set up. There's a couple of things you need to do in order to make this really work the way it's supposed to. So for one thing, uh, this will be different in Ableton. I'm not sure actually that Ableton will probably do this a lot better than main stage. But one of the things about main stage is that uh, it kind of aggregates all incoming MIDI. So like for example, I have the extern section off, but global MIDI is still on in my keyboard so when I hit assign it's going to assign this to MIDI output Nord channel 1 and even though I actually have nothing turned on on the keyboard right now we're going to be able to play this now that's not what we want we want the extern section to turn this on and off and if extern is off this not to play anything 
So we have to trick main stage into thinking there's another keyboard on that channel. And the easiest thing to do is just grab a little MIDI activity knob. You can even make it really small. We can set it way down here. We're going to make it, whoops, if I can grab it. Tiny, tiny, tiny. We're going to assign it. I'm going to turn the extern section on. We're going to play. You can see it's now MIDI output Nord channel 6. That's the channel we assigned. So that's good. So now when we come over here to our channel strip, uh, actually one more thing in layout mode. We're going to grab a knob. And we're going to assign that knob. That's the same as our extern knob. And we're going to assign that to our CC73. So there we go. All right, now we're going to come out over here. So here's the keyboard. And again, we want this to play only when extern is on. So right now extern is off. It's playing, so that's not what we want. So we are going to go ahead and hit the MIDI input and switch from MIDI output North Stage 1 to this MIDI channel 6. And so now, nothing. X turn is off. We're not getting anything. You see the notes moving because it shows there is some keyboard input. And you can look at the MIDI monitor at the top. You can see it's coming in on channel 1. You turn X turn on. We get our keyboard back, which is great. And now we can do all the other things we wanted to do with that. So um, if we switch the knob in the extern section over to volume, we can control the volume of that fader, which is really nice. And if we want to, we can map our CC to something sweet. So I like to go in the control setting, makes things a little bit easier to get to. And uh, tremolo depth is always something good. So we're going to go ahead and map that. To tremolo depth and so now when I'm in CC mode I can change the tremolo depth which is really sweet and there we go so now we have a uh, controller that follows the extern section of the Nord again big points we had to trick uh, main stage into thinking there were two keyboards with our little MIDI monitor light going down in the bottom left corner there and the other thing is that we can use the normal split function of the Nord to go ahead and if we want this to only play low, we could do that. And now I'm playing up high and we're not getting anything because it's split at the hardware keyboard. And so it's really kind of uh, another way to kind of control soft synths, but be able to play in front of your Nord and get some kind of that more hardware immediate sense. So anyway, this has been a quick uh, tutorial through using the extern section of the Nord Stage 2. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks.